Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Red Hat Summit 2016. Brought to you by Red Hat. Now, here are your hosts, Stu Miniman and Brian Gracely. Welcome back. Uh, we're talking about certifications for this segment. Uh, happy to have on the program Randy Russell, who's the Director of Certifications uh, for Red Hat down the end, and uh, Felipe Sabajos, who is with CQ Services uh, in the lovely red fedora. Uh, thank you both gentlemen for joining us. Hi. Good afternoon, how yeah. are you? R Randy, uh, if, if I could start with you, if you could just talk a little bit about uh, you know, your role, uh, kind of the, 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 the breadth of the certification program at Red Hat. Right, so I am uh, the director of the certification program at Red Hat, and by certification I mean certifying people. We also have certification programs that certify technologies and things like that. I'm, I'm in the people certification program, and the people certification program is basically a means for helping individuals show that they have ability on Red Hat technologies and for recruiters and employers to find people who have those kinds of abilities and who know how to use our technologies effectively. Everybody who's a Red Hat certified professional earns their certification by taking one or more challenging hands-on practical exams and that's a, one of the things that's unique about Red Hat is that we are absolutely committed to the hands-on approach. Every single cert, every single exam is hands-on. Okay. Great, uh, so Felipe, first of all, congratulations. You are the certified professional of the year out of uh, you know, tens of thousands of certified Red Hat people, but before, before we get into the accolades and the certifications, can you tell us a little bit about you know, what your company does and what your role is there? Okay, uh, nice to meet you. My name is Felipe Ceballos. I'm from Colombia. I work for SEAC Servicios. We work, we are working implementing uh, Red Hat products and open source technologies in Colombia and Latin America. In my daily my daily job as a as a technical leader is is help to solve more the more complex cases for for our all co-workers in the support and the project our area. Yeah, talk about uh, what's. It, in, in the South American part of the world, uh, Central American part of the world, what's the concerns of your customers? What do they come to you? What kind of challenges do they have every day that, that you're helping them solve? Yeah, uh, every day you know, we, we are improving uh, our customer satisfaction, satisfaction by giving, the, the giving them values, implementing solutions with high availability, high scalability, scalability. And, they're, and then giving them more value or making them happy. We're with Red Hat products and good, very solutions for them. Yeah. All right. Great. Randy, can you talk, you know, we're here honoring uh, F F Felipe as the Certified Professional of the Year. Um, you know, wh why do you have a program like this? I mean, you know, certifications, lots of reasons why people get them, advance their career and the like. So uh, tell us a little bit about some of the honors. Well, so we have a few objectives here. First, we do have thousands of people who do earn the certification, and we want to actually showcase them a little bit. And one way to do that, among several, is that we do have the Red Hat Certified Professional of the Year program, which gives us an opportunity to showcase an individual who is, you know, stands out among all of our many Red Hat Certified Professionals. But in also showcasing that individual, we're actually able to showcase the program and bring attention to these very qualified, skilled professionals that we have worldwide in over 200 countries. Yeah, you know, you talked about just the, the program of selecting the uh, Certified Person of the Year. What, what did you do? What did you accomplish uh, for your customer that was far and away better than everybody else? Well, we implemented a virtualization platform for our customer because uh, he was uh, uh, facing some latencies and uh, uh, he couldn't attend the amount, a big amount of, of users. So we implemented with this solution with a kind of new processor of technology, which is for IBM, which is Power 8. So with this solution, uh, the customer uh, had many, many, many more users, can attend more, many more users and had, had more safety in, in, their, in their databases. We had a ability cluster and then scalability. The customer was very, very happy with our solution and with the mainly for the Red Hat products. Okay. Well, so an interesting thing to know about uh, this project that 
CQ and Felipe worked on is it's, it was very much around performance constraints. Okay, so they have a customer that provides a vehicle management service, fleet management basically for government yes. entities and so on. So you have to think about if you bring in a new entity, it's not you know just a single user. They're bringing in a database with a whole lot of thousands of cars that now have to go into the database. So scale is a big issue and performance had become an issue. And you know one of the things that's really impressive about the you know the implementation that they did. First of all, you did what? Like a was it a 32 node cluster? Uh, six clusters for oh, six clusters. Six clusters, right? For Vert, and basically built out something that could scale rapidly and improve performance in a very significant way. In fact, uh, I believe Andres. Andres is the CEO. He was saying that uh, there was a performance gain on some operations from something that took three days. Yes, and yeah. now it took it took about two, two three hours. Right, so, their, 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 so, their deployments. So I mean that's that's a huge benefit to the end customer. If you can take an operation that goes that went from three days to accomplish to just being a two hour one, that's really what scale and performance is about, and that's that's what CQ and, and Felipe in particular delivered to that customer. Yeah. Well, and I, and I think it highlights another important fact. It's you, know, you talked about Power 8, you're talking about an older technology, modernizing it with virtualization, and yes. then you're local. They're, they're going to be able to retain and use your expertise to help them going forward. This isn't just technology, this is people plus technology to make them successful. Yeah, because it, was, it was an amazing experience because we working, we working with the customer, uh, we're exchanging communication every day in order to make a successful project, and it was a very, very good experience. And it, had, and it had, was a lot of hard, hard work and dedication. Yeah. So, Felipe, how do you look at certifications as part of your overall career uh, and uh, your, your daily job? The yeah, certifications, I think, it's a, a very important point in, in our careers as engineers because they they can help us to to, to acquire all the all technical knowledge in order to to satisfy our customers and and make and make them happy with the solutions and solve uh, complex problems in a very efficient and very quick way. Right, so that's, that's very important for our careers. Great, and Randy, can you speak to you know what certifications are happening here at Red Hat Summit? Uh, you know, how, how do people get certified? What what kind of activities are happening? Well, so we are actually offering um, um, two of our biggest programs here at Red Hat Summit tomorrow morning. Uh, our Red Hat Certified System Administrator exam will be available tomorrow morning, and our Red Hat Certified Engineer exam will be available. And we have a number of people who are signed up for those. The thing is, is that we actually make these ava exams available worldwide all year long, so uh, you don't have to come to Summit to get them, and, uh, and they are actually available in a lot of countries, and we're going to be expanding availability considerably. Now, Felipe, interestingly enough, uh, when he flies back, before he goes home to Colombia, he's going to actually stop in Miami and take one of our exams. <laughs> the hardest one. The hardest one, which, is, which concerns performance tuning. But I think given his, uh, his background and so on, I think that he could have written the exam. So we're expecting him to do very, very well on it. Excellent. Yeah. Great. So Felipe, I want to give you the last word. You know, what, what does winning this award mean to you? And also, how'd you get that hat? <laughs> Uh, it, it was very. I'm, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of give, uh, wearing this hat because it was a lot of dedication and and for the, the message is uh, and go and enjoy the open source and uh, enjoy the life and be certificated as Red Hat engineers because it's a very important point because uh, this certification gives you the ability. Uh, to, to solve problems in, in a very quick and a smart way. All right, well, Randy and Felipe, thank you so much for sharing all the updates on what's happening uh, here and around the world on certifications. We'll be back with lots more coverage here from Red Hat 2016 in San Francisco. You're watching theCUBE.